back again for another Bark Box unboxing. So if you don't know what Bark Box is, it's a monthly subscription service for your dog. Um, there are three different sizes, I think, like small, medium, large dogs. And then there's also a super chewer box for your dogs that go through toys really fast. Mia has a small dog box. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. So this is our April box, I believe. Yeah, um, we're always like a month behind, but I'm gonna try to catch up this this time. I might film, we actually have our May box over there, but maybe I'll film that later. I'm not sure, but this one, so it's gonna be a little bit different. So we got two boxes. What happened was um, BarkBox sent our initial box to our old address and when we that was when we were still living there but it took so long to get there that we ended up moving by that time so I contacted them and I told them that um, the bark box was going to the wrong address and I asked them if they can reroute it over here but it was too late so they decided to send us a new box and so we got a new box and then um, I had like a address forwarding thing with USPS so they ended up forwarding the old box over here so we got two but um, I basically just opened them and then combined everything into one box if it was um, replicas um, I'm just gonna give it to like family or friends like to their dogs because we don't need it but yeah so I kind of just like added things that the other box had that this box didn't basically so there's gonna be a little bit extra in here but I want to show you guys what you could what people possibly got for this month if that makes sense because um, there's a bunch of different toys so not everybody gets the same thing um, so yeah it's just a way to help you guys see what kind of variety bark box has so yeah let's get started this is Mia if you guys are new to the channel she's an Alaskan Klee Kai sometimes people ask in uh, the comments what kind of dog she is um, it's in her username handle, uh, Klikai. She's an Alaskan Klikai. Yeah, so, in case you guys were wondering, she also has an Instagram. <laughs> Alright, so I did take a picture of Mia with this. We have one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to our friend, just because we have one. We don't need it. But it's basically an Elizabethan collar. So that's what that looks like. I'll just leave this on her for the video, because... She looks adorable. Let me do it. It's backwards here. There you go. Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right. And then, so I'm going to go through some of the toys here. So this is one of the toys she already has. So we're also going to give this to give this away. But I find it so adorably cute. It's a squeaker. And then it has crinkles. But the funny part is, if you pull it to the top, it says 2P. And if you pull it down, it says, or not to pee. And I actually have a picture of Mia holding these um, on her Instagram. So you guys should check it out. It's really funny. It's basically her holding it in her mouth. And it says one or the other. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to give this to her because we are going to give this to a friend. She has her own already. So this is going to go back into the box. But this, this is really fun. Oh, let me tell you guys the name. So this is... Yeah, the title is to pee or not to pee and um says sink your teeth into the big disc squeaker inside the soft plush skull or tug the crinkly pull through skull to really give your dog something to chew on so yeah and then this one is called queen gertrude pup puppet that's really funny i love the puns that they provide you see gertrude puppet that's pretty funny but so it's all crinkle it's a squirrel and she has her elizabethan collar on but the funny part is it really is a puppet and there's like little wiggle room for your fingers so you can uh use it as a puppet but it is a toy as well and her head squeaks there's a little tail in the back so there's that i'll go ahead and give this to mia I think she got scared when I was playing with the puppet with her. You want it? Oh, you're not scared anymore. <laughs> All right. Here, you can have it. Here you go. I'll let her play with that. Oh. All right. She's under the table. <laughs> yeah, you want to come up here? Come up here. Here, come. You can play right here. There you go. 
I guess she wants to be under the table. Oh, well. So let's go on to treat. So we have all's well that ends bacon. Uh, bacon and spinach dog treats. Spinach. I've never seen spinach in dog treats. Like, kind of like processed dog treats. You know, I give her the, um, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. But it's like green juice for dogs, basically. Um, oh, green juju. That's what I gave her. So it has like all that good stuff in there. But I've never seen it in like treats like that. So that's what that looks like there. And it's wheat, uh, wheat free, soy free, corn free, and grain free. Um, ingredients are like pork, potato, flour, tapioca starch, coconut, glycerin, flaxseed, whole dried egg, pork fat, bacon, organic spinach stuff like that I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'm pretty sure Mia's gonna come out any second now there she goes she knows when the treats are gonna go, um, gonna open so whoa okay that definitely smells like spinach you can smell spinach but not really the bacon I don't smell any bacon I don't think but this is the shape of it I wonder why it's shaped like this. It's very weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her. Sit. Sit pretty. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Good girl. Sit pretty. Do the kangaroo. Do the kangaroo. Good girl. There you go. All right, that's a new trick that we've been working on, so just trying to help reinforce it. So let's leave that there. And let's move on to a chew. So, if you guys seen our last video, I talk about these a lot. We get these Edisa's uh, chews. Um, I usually get them in like every single box, honestly. So, uh, it's nothing different. It's lamb flavored. It's a thick one. They, usually every month, they kind of vary in what size they come in. Sometimes I've gotten like the little tiny, tiny sticks, like little chopsticks. Basically, this one's like actually pretty thick. Um, I do like these because this will last her a lot longer. The tiny ones definitely don't last very long. Um, but yeah, I usually save these for times when I want to give her something to chew on, like when we leave the house and stuff. So I'm not going to give these to her on camera, but that's what we got. Oh, and if you're wondering why we have so many toys in here, um, we are a part of the extra toy club, so we do get an extra toy. So your standard box will have two toys, two chews. Uh, wait, am I saying that right? Two toys, two treats, and one chew. But because of the uh, extra toy program that we're in, we have three toys. So um, there's a little bit more in here if you're wondering why. But let me move on to the next toy. So I just showed you guys two toys. She's taking a while to eat that. And she's actually becoming a little gross. Let me, uh, here, Mia. You're, you're, it's getting soggy and gross on the couch. Right here. Okay, you can eat on the floor. Um, yeah, let's move on. So, this one is Puggle Puggle Cauldron. It says, there's a fluffy, crackling, crinkle fire underneath the fuzzy cauldron and squeaker stuffed creatures inside. Stick treats in the cauldron for a tasty challenge. That's really cool. Okay, so I did play with this. So let me show you guys. So it looks like a cauldron. And then there's like fire on the bottom, right? And then all you do is pull these little guys out. Isn't that fun? So it looks like that. And then they all squeak. And um, the cauldron is just a crinkler. But that would be neat. What the tag says is to hide treats in there and then stuff this and then have them uh, dig it out. So let's try it right now. So I'll go ahead. Maybe I'll open another one because this one took her a while to eat. So let's try this one. So this is a new one. It's called Ham Leg. Like Hamlet. Ham Leg. That's pretty funny. Okay. So this is wheat free, soy free, corn free, pork dog treats. Go ahead and open this. Excuse me. All right, so these guys, oh, they look like stars. So if you can see that, they're like little stars shaped. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put this in here. So put it in the cauldron and then stuff these guys in there. 
hide it real well and give it to her see if she can find it, all right? You want it? Down. Shake. Other hand. Pause up. Say your prayer. Amen. Okay. Sit. Wait. Hold on. Okay. Let's see if she can find the treat in there. She pulled it out, but I don't think she knows that there's a treat in there. Ah, uh, over here, over here. Whoa, where is it? Here. Oh, it, it flew out. Let me put it back in. There we go. Okay, here. Oh, I think she found it. That reminds me of like all the other um, toys where you stuff it into like a cavity type thing. So we had like the dumplings in the to-go container and the clamshell with the pearls. If you guys remember our older videos, um, the dumplings were the first box and I forgot, I think maybe March or April of last year. Um, I think it was April of last year 2018 she had a pirate box and that one had a clam and then you had little pearls inside so i like toys like that where you get to like um stuff them and stuff because she loves to dig them out and this one it doesn't come apart which is kind of nice because the other ones she will take apart and then they're like scattered all over the place i have to find them and like shove them back in there but this one they're attached by the string so i can just put it back in yeah that's fun Right, I'll leave that there and let's see if I can get the we got the puppet right here and let's move on oh I didn't even show you guys the card oh my gosh so there's kind of like a um Mad Lib if you guys remember so this is the card all right it says Shakespeare in the dog park which is really cute Man, I'm like all over the place. I'm so excited to show you guys stuff that I'm like skipping around. So it says, here are the possible toys that you can get. So I get, I'm guessing because some of the toys aren't listed like this one, this might be included in all of them or something. And then, so we have this cauldron snake here. We have this one that I'm about to show you. And I guess the puppet as well is what you get. But yeah, because those are not listed on there. So let's move on. So let's go to a treat. Another, uh, we have another chew, like I said, because we got two boxes. So we got two different chews, which is nice that we didn't get two of these. I'm so excited for that. So this is the Jones dog ear. I mean, not dog ear, <laughs> Jones pig ear, I'm assuming says, yeah, it's a pork ear. This one's pretty small, actually. Mia got gifted um, some pork ears, some pork ears uh, for Christmas, and they were ginormous. They were like this big. Um, so this is like a tiny little pork pig. But yeah, um, moving on. So the next toy is what I showed you guys in the photo. It's like a play on loot. I don't know what the real term for this is. Um, I just know like back in like the Shakespearean time, they had some type of guitar looking instrument, but I don't know the name of it. So this I'm assuming is what's supposed to be. Let's see. So squeaks and it crinkles a little bit and it has like t-shirt rope, which is our favorite for tug of war. Mia loves to play tug of war. So this is calling all bards. This crinkly loot is stuffed with a spiky squeaker and the soft and stretchy t-shirt rope strings are absolutely instrumental for a good game of tug. 
So, if you guys don't know, BarkBox has um, squeaky balls and toys in their toys. So, if your dog ever rips into it and breaks it, you still have an opportunity to reuse that toy because now it becomes a squeaky toy and they can just have that ball until they ruin it I guess and you can throw it away but uh, if you've seen our other videos um, I've mentioned that Mia is not really a toy destroyer so we do have tons and tons and tons of toys um, in her storage box there um, so sadly I never get to like see the toys inside I just feel around and I can feel the squeaky balls but um, all her toys are intact basically the only time they're not intact is when um, I send her over to her friend's house or her friend comes over here for um, play dates and stuff and her friend will kind of uh, chew and bite and destroy her toys so then now they're kind of ripped and stuff but it's a it's fine you know um, that's what toys are there for right but here, look, she's already trying to play tug of war with me as I'm holding this. Yeah, this will be fun. Oh, I do like that the straps like this. It's easy for me to hold, and she can still pull on it and stuff. So there's that. So she's enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll leave that there and move on to the last treat. So this one is called a Midsummer's Night Stuff. There you go. I really like the packaging. It's really pretty with all the, the floral and stuff. So I'm going to leave that there for her and watch right when I open this. She's going to come right over here. <laughs> Ooh, it smells really good. So it's duck, pork, and cranberry. And right when I opened it, I could smell the cranberry already. So it smells delicious. Mmm. Okay, that smells good. Mm. I do love smelling their treats, especially when they smell really good, like um, the cranberry and blueberries and stuff like that. That's our favorite. But they're just like little cube looking things. Uh, sit. Sit. Speak. Speak. Yeah. Speak. 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 What's wrong? Speak. Misha, come here. Sit. 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 What are you doing? I think she's broken, guys. Mia. Sit. What are you doing? Come here, sit. Sit. What are you doing? You're so weird. Speak. 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 No. Ben. That's, that's the only thing she can do. <laughs> Alive. Good girl. There you go. All right. So that was the last of it. Um... So we got these three toys or treats there. And then if you guys are interested, this is, I can't see, this is what was in the box. So I think that that was it. And that was really fun. I got to show you guys so many toys. So we got the Elizabethan collar. We got the uh, puppet. We got the, uh, what is this? Uh, like guitar thing. We got the skull that says to pee or not to pee, and two treats. So yeah, don't worry. Um, we're not gonna keep all of this just because it's too much for one dog. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this oh, some of the stuff away to um, friends, family, whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this bark box. It was like a lot longer than normal, I guess, because we had a lot to go over, but. I'm sure Mia had lots of fun, right? Right, Mia? Mia? All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye, we'll see you next time. Mia? Mia? You having fun, Mia?